Hi everybody. Happy mail here from Kelly, Kelly Snow. Um, she really blessed me with this stuff. I've never seen um, some of these napkins and I love the way she did this little um, accordion type pocket and I'll show it to you. Please forgive the shakiness. Again, I'm doing this one hand up, one handed and um, Kelly, thank you. I love all of it. I'm going to start here with this. Um, it's hand sewn pattern paper, as you see, and oh, my little card fell out. And I'm going to open it here, probably doing it backwards, but it opens up quite long into three sections. Um, these are so cute. Look at the little dresses. And everything's layered. And I'll show you up close to show you kind of what they're made out of. Isn't this cute? It says hot couture. And that's a little flap. When you turn it over, you see the pattern stuff on the side. And on this outside pocket she um, tucked in some things the first is this little um, folded mini accordion look at the shoes aren't they adorable I don't think she knows it but I have a huge weakness for shoes I think I have some in every color and every style and eventually I give them to my niece she appreciates it. Um, this is Paris, isn't it cute? And it's got the little tag and it almost looks like a little tote bag or purse. Love it, love it, love it. And this is a little card, card stock um, gingham check in aqua that she's sewn tea stained. Again, it's adorable. Let me show you one of these little dresses and how and what she used. Hang on. Here we go. Um, this has fabric. Feels like dotted Swiss. Really cute. And then netting or tooling. And it's um, just tacked down or pinned down. To make the skirt of the little dress. And the little dress is made out of muslin and it's attached and, and looks like handmade flowers here as well. So they're all a little bit different and look at this cute little handle. It's got crepe paper flowers. Adorable. She also sent me a huge strip of um, not sure what kind of paper it is. It feels like raffia but not and then it also feels like tissue paper but it's quite long and it's going to be perfect for projects Let me back up a little bit look at these napkins oh my gosh i was dying when she started posting these and um she sent me some i was so excited look at this one oh gorgeous And this one, you have it upside down. Beautiful pink, pale, pale pink. And this one is so pretty. And look at this, how bright and vibrant this is. With the purple, looks like a stalk or lilac. And then sent me a couple of these um, I love the writing I love the flowers I love the colors and my favorite mason jar sent me one of these I just love it love it love it some more roses aren't they beautiful again they're like a pale pale peachy ballerina pink very pretty and this one's really cool I've never seen napkin like this 
it's the damask and it's in uh, like a taupe color and a real pale slate blue and I was looking at these I just love them they remind me of burlap and lace or um, the old vintage linen uh, sackcloth or feed sack um, fabric pretty look at this dessert Marie Antoinette a cute 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 and I think these two have to be my absolute favorite of this stack look at them they're just perfect I can't say anything else they're so petite and they're so French looking uh, I just love them and she always sends awesome postcards look at that of Seattle never been there want to go someday isn't that cute very cool and I got to show you this I don't know if you saw her video but she got happy mail the other day from I think I think it might have been Athena but I could be wrong uh, if I am I apologize to whoever sent it this is so pretty she gifted me some of her stash from it these flowers are so soft and these fibers are so soft and I can't wait to use this in something oh my gosh anyway thank you very much Kelly I so appreciate it and you so did not have to do this but I'm glad you did thanks bye